What's going on everybody, this is Cool Simon Sky, and welcome to System Test 9 with the ESL 1500 series. Let's get straight into the video. So first off, I would say I have changed out all the pulse stations and all the alarms on the system. Smoke detectors and heat detectors are still the same, but I made sure that the system was consistent, and I'll show you guys what I mean. The pulse station right next to the panel, this is an ESL rebranded RSGT bar pulse station. Fun fact about these pulse stations, it takes a simple simplex B key to be able to reset it. The alarm in here is a Gentex SHG second generation horn strobe. If you look closely, you can tell it has some cosmetic damage on it. Well, it's a long story to explain, but overall the strobe and the horn still works. The second generation of these SHGs, it has an updated strobe and it still has the first generation horn. The system sensor heat detector is still in the closet. And the ESL detectors have not moved at all. In my room, we have another Gentex SHG horn strobe. This is the first generation SHG that doesn't have the reflector on the strobe, even though it's still pretty bright. Right next to it, we have a Spectular Advance. The model number is a P2RK. This is the outdoor version of the Spectular Advance. However, it is not hooked up, so don't worry about it going off when we pull the system. ESL detector is still up here, and we have another ESL 103-01 pull station. In here in the workshop, which still needs to be cleaned up, we have a, another ESL 103-01 behind the stopper. And above it, we have another Gentex SHG. This one is a third generation, which sounds like a Commander 3, and it has these bumps on the top and the bottom of the strobe light. If you notice, I'm using all SHGs on the system. This one is a first generation, the one in the spare room is a second gen, and the third generation is in the workshop. So we are using all generations of the SHG on the system. The ESL detector is still here, and do you guys think it's going to be a Gentex GXS? Well, nope. It is not a GXS, but this is a Gentex GX90 horn strobe. This is the first time I'm using it on any system, really. I haven't used it on my MS2. And we still have the same system sensor heat detector. And we have an ESL brand RSGT bar, which is the same pulse station that's next to the panel. And it is right behind the water heater. That is the overview of the system. I know it was kind of short, but I think you guys just want to see the alarms go off. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to set up the ESO Reverend RS GT bar. And we're going to go ahead and pull it. And if you suffer from epilepsy, please do not watch. In three, two, one. That was loud. Pull station is reset. System zone 2 is going to go into control as usual because I don't know what's wrong with the panel. We're going to go ahead and test the detectors on the system. But before we do, I'm actually going to put zone 2, 3, and 4 on silent walk test. Or not silent walk test, just on regular walk test. Let's go ahead and that's the ESL detector. Oh, and ooh, that was a good catch. That was zone two. And you know, we'll pull the pull stations too, why not? Ah! 
And we'll test the next detector, which is below the stairs. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and pull the ESL detector, or the ESL detector, the pull station. Now we'll pull the stuff here. Let's see if they'll activate. Because I know zone four and five are pretty buggy. I'm not sure why. Let's see if they'll activate. If I can get my key, there we go. It's upside, it is upside down, that's why it's not activating. There, or that's why it's on such the keyhole. Oh, not buggy this time. That's good. And now we'll test the ESL detector in the workshop. Can't tell if it's... Oh, I had it in the wrong spot. There we go. That will be it for System Test 9. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like and also subscribe for more content on my channel. But um, anyway guys, thank you all for watching and see you in the next video. Peace.